Welcome to the Rapture Report. I'm Peter Apostle, coming to you live from the Central Pretty Gates Reporting Center. It's May the 21st and the apocalypse has started and is proceeding as planned. Our top story, billions of good souls are ascending to heaven as we speak. Judgment Day is underway as Jesus takes his position in the unexpected location of Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. We'll be filming his sermon live from the Hamilton Escarpment. We'll have a wide variety of experts to speak about the Judgment Day experience, including apocalyptic aviation expert Icarus, and more opinion of the day of destruction from their favorite panelist Solomon Goldberg. But first, let's go live to our earthly correspondent, Noah Ark, with a word from the street. Thank you, Peter. It's chaos here. We're in the midst of an apocalypse. Excuse me, sister, yes. what's your secret for getting to heaven? Well, I heard I could bring the dog. I love animals. I'm a great cook. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll have more tips for getting to heaven later on the show. Back to you, Peter. Thank you, Noah. Hopefully people get their acts together and get on up here. Now let's take a look at some of the devastation happening on Earth. We have a new arrival, aviation expert Icarus, the atheist, Welcome, Icarus. Yeah, Can you tell us um, what was happening with the airborne planes uh, when the apocalypse started? Well, you call it apocalypse, I call it rapture. Even though I don't believe it, I just think it's a bunch of crazy rapturous Christians. We got up somewhere around 36,000 feet, around 6 p.m. on the 21st of May, and all of a sudden the plane started acting erratic, it was bounced around in the air, and a whole pile of people rushed the cockpit. We were fighting them off, me and McKay, like crazy. I mean, they rushed the cockpit <laughs> yeah. with these giant swords and knives. They're wailing oh, around nice. like that. They almost got me, but they got McKay. Hey. Poor McKay, not too much left of him these days. Poor guy, anyways. They kept coming. They shot up the cockpit with a bunch of guns, and they blew up the instruments. And all I could do was just give her a full thrust. We went straight right. up, almost out of the atmosphere. All the Christians seemed to roll out of the cockpit again. I still lost control of the aircraft, and we came down in the mountains. We crashed, and we burned. Just like that. There's not much you can do, ladies and gentlemen, when your plane is being attacked by that many people. Uh, it, it, it wasn't a good scene, anyways. Thank you, Icarus. We'll be right well, thank back. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 30 seconds. Welcome back to the Rapture Report. Now it's time to check in with our favorite panelist, Solomon Goldberg, for shrewd opinions on this day of destruction. Welcome, Solomon. Good to be back, Pete. So, Solomon, what's your take on all of this? Well, there are some serious issues that I don't think God has addressed. Consider we've got billions and billions and billions of people about to arrive here in heaven. Now, we have to consider housing plans, medical, health care, taxes, all the type of things, infrastructure. Consider where are these people going to live? Heaven doesn't go on forever. You fall off those clouds eventually. We've traveled to the outer MP. It's happened. We've seen it. It's good times. But these are serious issues, and I've sat down, and I've talked with Jesus, I've talked with Abraham, I've talked with Muhammad. Mm. These are people that know the issues, just like you and I. And these are the issues that I think our viewers need to know as well. Yes, well, uh, yes, thanks for that enlightening commentary, Solomon. Uh, now let's go live to Jesus' sermon from the Escarpment. Thank you very much, Peter. Yes, it's been a very exciting second coming for me. I'm, of course, in town for the remainder of the Rapture and the Ascension. Uh, I will not be able to stay for some of what comes thereafter. Uh, naturally, the appeals process is taking us a while because there are a great many applicants, but I am very delighted to announce that all 11 worthy souls from the Hamilton region have already been taken up and are seated at the right hand of the Father. Thank you very much, and back to you for whatever comes next. <laughs> 